The next phase of your life, my gorgeous Pisces, is about to begin and it is indeed going to start right at the beginning of this week when you become aware of this psychic message. Something is going to come to you intuitively, something right at the beginning of this week. You're not going to be able to stop thinking about whatsoever. And what this psychic message is actually going to be about and what is going to come to you in such an intuitive way where you're not going to be able to stop thinking about it whatsoever. It's actually to do with the problems, with a new a kind of like um, something new that you started, something new that you wanted to start, some kind of a new venture and you couldn't start this and, and now this in itself is going to reveal a why couldn't you start something so big and something so important and it's like a, some kind of a new venture. This kind of like a problems that are actually going to be highlighted. You will know which problems, you know, caused you not kind of jumping in or you not tapping into something that, you know, you feel so ridiculously passionate about. And this in itself is ever so important when it comes to you, my gorgeous Paisilini, actually getting a different perspective on, on, you know, on this, you know, problems. And this is so important, especially when it comes to you, you know, now realizing why you were losing control, why you were losing confidence, and why your progress was affected. And that in itself, it's gonna, you know, and you are gaining a different perspective. It's also going to a really kind of highlight something that needs more attention and care as well. Okay, so on one hand, you're going to understand what, which problems have caused you kind of slowing down with something that you feel so passionate about and almost like kind of struggling with. But also on top of that, my gorgeous spicy lini, you know, this is something that needs more attention and care. It's also going to be kind of highlighted at a time when you get a different perspective on these problems. And this is so important and my gorgeous Paisilini for so many different uh, reasons. You are going to realize how different do you feel within. And after that moment in time, couple of days later, you are going to have this great sense of like wanting to go out there, wanting to connect with people. But also now suddenly you want, you're going to feel how you want to try new things. And those things that you wanted to try for ages and you didn't do anything about about it. This is something that you are going to become so adamant about. Indeed. And there is a very special reason for it. Why? Because the new phase of your life is beginning. And this even more so at the beginning of this week, even more so, like, you know, a little bit after that, you know, you're going to have a really good news. Like, it's not going to be huge. It's not going to be massive, but at least it's going to show the progress that you're making. And this is like kind of going to surprise you, but it's going to make you feel really, really good. So that good message, that message that you're going to have, it's not going to be like, oh my God, huge, massive progress. But this is something that it's actually going to surprise you. But most importantly, what you need Need to understand is that there is a something that you're going to need to commit yourself to and you must not let that put you off whatsoever because if you don't commit yourself to if you're not serious about this then you're going to like you know you're not going to be ready to go because in order to kind of come out of the comfort zone you need to commit yourself to it and you are making a very very special commitment commitment with yourself, with your spirit, with your soul. And when you do that, you're following things that you feel passionate about, my gorgeous Paisilini, and you can't go wrong whatsoever. This is brilliant. And also, my gorgeous Paisilini, you know, it looks like that you're going to kind of like a try to start something, some kind of a project or something at the beginning of the week. This is for something from before, but every single 
single time when you wanted to start this project, like you also had, this is something different from before. And every single time when you wanted to start this type, this project, for example, you would kind of run in to so many kind of difficulties and so many negativities, something really negative would always happen. And the bottom line is it would take a negative turn. And now you are really kind of going to uh, realize that why this was actually happening. So you need to walk away from some kind of old project because the reason why you're going to realize why this is actually not going to be for you, it's only because you are going to realize that if you do this, you are going to make a bad investment because you're going to come across something at the beginning of this week, somebody else's situation. Maybe you're going to be looking at a group of people, but you will be able to recognize yourself and your own situation on something that you wanted to do, something that you wanted to start, but every single time you had the difficulties. This is because your angels were protecting you. Your guardian angels didn't want you to do this. Your spirit guides were like really keeping it at bay from you, you know, because it would not be the right thing. So this is going to be like a God's gift, like a blessing for you, literally, my gorgeous Paisilini, because you're going to realize through somebody else's unfortunate situation that what you would have done in the first place, if you did it ages ago, you would, this would all lead towards you losing like maybe money or it would be bad for you financially because it would kind of end up being a really, really bad investment. You see what I mean? Very important indeed. By the time you get to the mid part of this week, you know, you are really going to feel a little bit, maybe, do you know what? You're going to feel like a a little bit drained and a little bit tired, uh, tired of juggling. And, 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 and when you become like kind of aware of this tired tiredness, like you're going to be tired of juggling you know, a few different things at the same time. This is causing instability in your life right now. And it means that you need to focus on one thing only. And this is so significant because at around a similar time, there are some secrets which are going to come out. And this is to do with the truth. And it's also the secrets that are actually going to come out. You're going to find this so helpful purely because it's to do with the truth that you're going to become aware of. It's bringing clarity into your life when it comes to things that you are focusing on. But at the same time, it's going to help you to be more objective, especially when it comes to releasing negative and frightening thoughts like, oh my God. And this in itself is about to set you free because very short shortly after that moment in time, you just a really kind of, this is to do with your development and you are going to realize what exactly do you need to do right now? What do you need to act now? You are in the flow, my gorgeous Paisilini. You are going to find yourself within the sacred flow. You are within the sacred flow and you're going to feel, I want to act now. And this is to do with you a kind of feeling something consciously that the goal is near but then at the same time it's to do with you kind of doing the right thing in order to be unrestricted if you don't act now with what is going to be so urgent on your mind you know you are going to be restricted because you're not following your spirit what is your spirit going to be telling you and also there are going to be numerous signs that you are going to have at around the same time and all these numerous good signs are going to be pointing to was the right direction. What exactly do you need to do in order to be less restricted and in order to like kind of like really start developing after this moment in time? Uh, this in itself, it's also going to help you out so much with this contemplation that you had for way too long. This contemplation that you wait for too long, it's all about like, you know, pretty much so uh, uh, um, like, you know, it's about some kind of a plan, but then at the same time, it, you were worried about too, way too much uncertainty when it comes to it. And this is all going to lead towards you being more confident and more courageous, you know, especially when it comes to us facing uncertain efforts. But then it's the call of our spirit, the call of our soul that is so powerful. It's so powerful. We just cannot ignore this whatsoever. Just remember, it is all to do with your passion 
passion, but it's ever so important to not to ignore that voice within. By the time you get to the last part of this week, my gorgeous spicy lineage, you know, someone is going to be so, my goodness, unrealistic and delusional. And you are going to be facing this look, at, you're going to be looking at this person and you're going to be thinking, my God, this person is like so unrealistic and so delusional. And then you will know this. And this is a weird person, strange person, a very unusual person and rather bizarre person. But it's more about what are you actually, so it's not about the person. It's not about what person is doing. It's not about why this person is uh, uh, unrealistic and delusional, but it's more about what are you going to understand through this person. You're going to just have this kind of idea, this kind of realization, and this idea that you are going to have because of this person, you will see it's like so strange the way things are actually going to unfold. Somehow you're going to understand through that person how to kind of attack this specific, specific problem, very difficult problem. And this in itself is like pretty much so to do with a rather bold idea. And guess what? This is going to bring you a variety of options after that moment in time. And when it comes to this variety of options that you are going to have, you're going to feel like you want multiple things. Now, what you need to pay attention to is just a kind of to step back and see what means to you the most and see also what is going to take the longest, what is going to take the longest like in terms of planning and also what is like kind of requires your patience the most. I know it's oh god my god yes you need to choose the longest route my gorgeous spicy lini because this is something that is going to require from you to change in so many different ways through your own spiritual growth. But for that, I'm afraid you are going to need to choose the path that is actually the longest one. And the longest path that you are going to choose out of this variety of options, it's actually going to make you not only the more successful when it comes to your finances, financial situation, but it's also going to change your whole quality of your life. Almost as if you're going to work so much less, but you're going to gain so much more. This is a lot to do with you doing the right thing when it comes to the whole, like looking at the big picture and looking at the whole quality of your lives. It's re it's removing things that have been keep on restricting you, but it's also understanding an impact of this particular option, opportunity and path, which is about to unfold in a, such a way where it's almost going to put you off. Oh my God, it's too long. No, baby, no. The longest path is going to make you the most successful. The longest path is not going to be the longest at all how it seems. It's going to be the longest when it comes to you having the longest amazing spiritual effect of that which is about to change every single aspect of your life in the best possible way because it's bringing you the balance that is going to make you feel so much more courageous. It's going to make you to think so much more sharply and it's also at the same time going to put you on the path where you are going to fully understand that you are making some kind of a dream real here. You know, this is brilliant. As I said, it's not only about making a dream real, but it's also about, you know, like financial stabilities and things like that. This is brilliant. You're protecting yourself and you're protecting things that belong to you. You know, this is fantastic. And also my gorgeous spicy Lini, at around the end of the week, you know, someone who you can trust, someone really gorgeous in your life, someone really beautiful in your life. There is going to be such an interesting conversation you're going to have with this person. Conversation Conversation is going to start about X, Y, Z, and you're going to be talking also a lot about mysterious things, a lot of a lot about bizarre things. You're going to be conversation. It's going to be about things that you both fully don't, both fully don't understand about life, about the world, but you kind of fully understand that there's something is happening, but you both don't understand. Lots of mysterious mysterious points are going to be revealed, and it's going to mean to you so much that you can actually talk to someone 
about it. So, but this is someone who is very close to you, very beautiful person, someone who you can trust to like a 1 million percent. I really like this person in so many different ways. And this person also has a beautiful impact on you because when you talk to this person, you feel free. You feel free. You, you don't, you're not worried about holding back or you're not worried about what you're going to say and things like that. And so the conversation is going to be about really interesting things. But then again, and then it's going to turn into something completely different, something very invaluable, invaluable, amazingly spiritually invaluable. It's going to come out of it. So conversation is going to start about mysterious things that you're going to really enjoy. But then at the same time, the back towards the end of the conversation, that person is going to be honest with you and they're going to point something out, some kind of problem, something that you're doing and you shouldn't be doing, something that you keep on repeating, some kind of problem that's causing you to have repeated errors over and over again. Sometimes those beautiful spirits in our lives, those beautiful gorgeous people in our lives, my God, they play such a beautiful role when it comes to so many different things, but also when it comes to those things that, should, that, that are highlighted about us and almost like those things that we don't like to think about that we don't like to mention you know uh, and, and 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 things that we maybe feel you know we just don't like talking about for example for some reason because there was a very much so negative experience attached to it over and over again so this person is going to mention this to you you know about the, some kind of repeated errors and almost like you're gonna be like oh god you don't like talking about it you see but then you know you're gonna realize you need to be strong you need to put your foot down because these repeated errors have affected you, your home, your happiness, your joy, your pleasure in life, your peace, your contentment in life, you know, and, and, and it was just a kind of caused lots of negativities. But most importantly, you couldn't find yourself on this path of a big change because of that. So please, you, when they highlight what these repeated errors are, try to think what you're going to do about it. It. It's not something that you can just straight away say what you're going to do and how you're going to do this. But this is going to be a sign to do something nice for yourself, to kind of have a little break, to recharge, recharge. do something that kind of rocks your soul, you know, go somewhere, spend some time in the nature, do something for yourself that makes you feel good, mentally prepare yourself, rejuvenate yourself. And after that moment in time, it's going to come to you. It's going to come to you. You're going to become so Kind of, because slowly but surely subconsciously you're already getting prepared for that and subconsciously you do know the answer you do have the answer but the only way for the answer to come out for you to do something about it it's gonna happen when you kind of give a little bit of pleasure to yourself in form of the actual relaxation or doing something good for your spirit for your soul and you will see that you know you will know exactly what do you need to do and how you are actually going to do this very very important important indeed. Okay, my gorgeous Paisilini, thank you ever so much for watching my videos. I'm sending you brightest blessings, lots of love, healing, peace and light to every single one of you. Thank you ever so much for watching my videos. Sasha Bonasin, Psychic Medium. Love you. Bye.